What's up, fell rotors? I'm Joshua Thomas, and I want to apologize for the clutter. Uh, you see, my wife and I are both working from home now due to the whole COVID-19 crisis, but that makes me want to talk about one thing, and that's sleeving cards, but also I just want to give like a public service announcement. You know, a lot of people are still going around out there as though nothing is wrong, as though that this is being way overhyped. And maybe it's way overhyped, but better to err on the side of caution. I mean, imagine that these sleeved cards represent the part of the public who aren't susceptible to COVID-19. Maybe they're the younger crowd or just really healthy people. So that doesn't mean that they might not come in contact with a bunch of cards that aren't sleeved and endanger them. So when you're out in public or thinking about going out uh, over this crisis that we're having, this pandemic, make sure that you don't just think about yourself, but the people around you. Because who knows, that uh, person who you might think is a sleeved card can turn out to not be a sleeved card and get hurt someone you look you know what it, the the analogy is kind of falling apart now um but just just if you're a sleeved card just think about the unsleeved cards so one thing to consider is social distancing and what does that mean well in these terms social distancing means not being on the same planet but you know when you're out in public trying to be you know maybe maybe a system apart from each other so that you don't get them sick so just, just consider that when you're out and about. Now, on with the show. What's up, Fell Rotors? Welcome to my tabletop talk where I can just talk about any kind of tabletop topics I want to talk about. And today I'm talking about sleeving cards. You know, when should you sleeve them? When shouldn't you? What's the decision that you make before sleeving cards? Um, leave it in a comment below why you sleeve your cards or why you don't sleeve them. And just let me know your opinion on the aesthetics of sleeving cards. So I sleeve cards for one of three reasons, really. And it's usually got to be a culmination of at least two or more of these reasons. One reason is that I just really love the artwork in the card. Um, You'll have seen this in my Inish video where I am sleeving cards in that one as well. I think the artwork is beautiful in that one. Uh, another situation is going to be when I feel like the cards get a lot of usage or if I'm going to be playing the game a lot. Now, I want to make this clear. Cards getting a lot of usage and playing the game a lot, to me, are two different things. Uh, take. This, for instance, this game right here, uh, Star Wars Rebellion, while I don't play this game often because of the length it takes to play the game and set it up and tear it down, uh, when I do play it, there are several cards that get a lot more usage than the others, and that is the four starter mission cards that you get that have this return arrow on them. Um, these four cards always remain in your hand, and so as you're playing the game and you're getting more cards, these four cards always come back. That means they're going to get a lot of time being rubbed up against other cards. And if you look on my Imperial ones that have like the darker color scheme, you can kind of see that they're already starting to get a little bit of wear and tear on the sides. I don't know if it's easy to see in the video or not, but upon closer examination, uh, trust me when I say that uh, this is one of those games where I want to protect the cards. So playing a game often, um, that could mean that a game may not take a long time to play, but if you play it so many times, then, you know, the cards are just bound to get worn out. Uh, so some things to think about when sleeving your cards is, you know, how many cards or decks are going to be in your game. And as you can see here, I'll move the camera around. 
there are a lot of decks in this game and I have the uh, expansion to this game as well which adds even more uh, large cards such as these advanced tactics cards uh, so there are four decks of these in the expansion another thing to consider is what kind of sleeve are you gonna get there are different qualities of sleeves and well since this is a fantasy flight game I went ahead and spent a couple extra bucks and got the fantasy flight card sleeves. I don't know if these sleeves are any better or worse than the cheaper brand, um, but I guess over the years I'll find out. Uh, another thing to consider is how much space this is going to add to your, your game in general and how much storage space you've got in your box. Uh, this is going to nearly double the thickness of all of the decks combined. This is, I mean, if I was holding all of these decks in my hand, they would be just a little bit thicker than this. So, uh, I'm going to take, I used to be able to store all of the Imperial cards in one bag and all the Rebel cards in another bag, and that's not gonna be able to happen. So, I'm gonna have to figure out how to divvy them up between more bags. Um, that's my storage option. I don't like to use rubber bands because that can crease the corners of the card and well then you'll just be able to tell the cards apart. Hey guys, here's some bonus content for you. This is how to shuffle a sleeved deck of cards. So first you're going to break your deck in half just like any normal shuffle and then you're just going to take the corner of one half and simply shove it in to the middle of one of the sides of the other half and the cards just uh, fit neatly in between each other and that's really all there is to it. Uh, this is Honestly, I think way easier than shuffling your typical deck of cards without sleeves and uh, It's easy to uh, Get really good at this to where you can just shuffle them very quickly and in a matter of a few seconds You'll have done several shuffles to make sure that your deck is well shuffled also I recommend uh, having some deck boxes uh, as the best means of storing sleeved cards. I don't have any deck boxes right now, but you can see a picture of them right here. Uh, that's really the best way to protect your sleeved cards to make sure that the sleeves themselves don't kind of get uh, bent on the corners, like storing them in the bags like I'm doing now. Uh, they are going to, uh, if, if they stay in there too long, uh, the cards that are on the ends of the deck uh, their sleeves may become a little bent and just make it easier to spot them in the middle of the deck. Maybe not a big deal for Star Wars Rebellion, but it could be a big deal for other types of games. But that's your bonus content right there. Back to the show. Those are what I consider when thinking about whether I'm going to sleeve a card deck in my game or not. So I think about how much I enjoy the game, how much I want to protect the artwork, and how much wear and tear the cards are going to get, uh, depending on whether I play the game for a long time or the cards just get used over and over and over again in the same game, or if I just think the artwork is so beautiful that it is worthy of protection. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something or if you just got a useful insight, uh, please like and subscribe. Leave comments down below about what you think about card sleeving. Uh, and I hope to uh, see you next time on the Fell Road Express. Bye.